Finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village... Hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh. Uh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is, by the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here of all places we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Something refined. Yeah, I guess we're not kids anymore. Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun, you'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note, I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Oh, I'm really sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> Grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. Well, most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. <sighs> Enjoy.
Tifa? Oh, uh... Cloud. We have to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure there isn't something else going on? Mm. Uh, uh, huh. Damn it.
where it goes. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Mm. Hmm? Uh, uh, Tifa! Cloud. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. <sighs> You're awake. <sighs> you okay? <sighs> Yeah. Where are we? Where I lived, when I was still a child. Are you okay? Maybe you should rest a little longer. My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the Ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm, Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the Promised Land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako, they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? <clears throat> Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> Oh, great! These assholes again! Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. 
Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet, from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes, for it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help. All of you. And the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze, and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. <laughs> Follow them, the yellow flowers. It's okay. We'll find a way out together. <sighs> okay. Anyway, we gotta get to the roof, right? Then we can use the same elevator that Hojo did. That elevator, was it this way? Yes, his odor still lingers.
Nice job. What? Shit! What the hell, Red? Let's go.